Fewer children were victims of abuse in Lubbock County last year. According to the Department of Family and Protective Services, our area had the fewest number of confirmed cases of abuse in more than a decade. KCBD News Channel 11's Joshua Ramirez spoke with one advocate about breaking the cycle of abuse. To know that more than a thousand children were confirmed victims of child abuse in Lubbock County alone in just one year is mind-blowing. Over the years, those numbers have been steadily dropping. According to DFPS, there were 734 confirmed cases of child abuse in Lubbock County in 2022. Even though this is the lowest number we've seen in more than a decade, it's still too high. That's why Abby Reed with Family Guidance and Outreach says it's important to educate children and their parents on what abuse is as early as possible. In our opinion, provides long-term results for when they enter adulthood and might be in a situation where they are in a relationship where the caretaker of a child and it helps them learn not to abuse that child. For parents, Family Guidance and Outreach offers free online parenting classes. It's all a part of breaking a cycle. Reed says in many cases, parents were victims of abuse themselves, leaving them without the knowledge needed to handle certain stressful situations with their own child. They maybe haven't been given the tools to help equip themselves to handle it better, and so they take it out on their children. That abuse can lead to self-esteem, addiction, and even criminal issues down the line, and in many cases, perpetuates more abuse. They can go on to become perpetrators themselves because if they've been taught that abuse or physical violence is how you handle situations, they could go on to do that. Lubbock County's 734 confirmed victims is a stark difference from the 1,354 confirmed cases in 2013. Still, there are many children who need help. Many times, they're right in front of us. These are our neighbors. These are our children's friends. These are kids we go to church with, to school with. We know these kids. Even though we may not know their names, we know who these kids are. That's why Reed says there is still much work to be done. We shouldn't be satisfied until the number's zero. Joshua Ramirez, KCBD News Channel 11.